Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked to give an update on my Sweet Essentials oil haul that I did a long time ago. It's probably been close to a year ago now. It was a massive Sweet Essentials oil haul that I did and yeah, um, somebody was curious as to which oils were my favorite, which ones are worth buying, which ones aren't, and I've definitely got thoughts about all of them. Um, I am working on another Sweet Essentials haul. In fact, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna really try to buckle down and get through all of the oils tonight so I can get my cart ready so I can go ahead and place an order um, because yeah, it's been taking me forever, but they've added a ton of oils and yeah, it's just been hard. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a, a bad one. It's not awful, it definitely does smell cakey, um, like, you know, like a cupcake, like cake batter or something, but I'm finding that in some of my oils, there's something about how the actual oils, like the carrier oils, so these are, they're all made up of organic jojoba oil, organic coconut oil, organic castor seed oil, and then they've got the fragrance in them. Um, there's something, there's some of them that there's something weird that happens between the actual fragrance and the oils. And it smells, and they kind of end up smelling oily, if that makes any sense. They smell more like the, the oils, and almost like the oils have kind of gone slightly rancid. If you've ever smelled rancid oil, or especially like a rancid perfume oil, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not saying that the oil has gone rancid. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, and especially because these are not that old. I've only had these for, like I said, not even a year yet. But this is one of the ones that does that. It's got this kind of slightly off like off-putting smell in the base, like there's something just not jiving between the fragrance and the oils. So yeah, this one, I probably would not recommend this one. There are others that are similar to this that are better, so cupcake was a no-go for me. Okay, next we've got rice flour and shea. A lot of these I'm gonna have to rub on my skin again. This is an absolute winner. Um, if you guys know the rice flour and shea scent from Bath & Body Works, it's similar. I don't think it's supposed, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be a dupe for the Bath & Body Works. It doesn't smell like a dupe, it smells similar. This is a winner, this is a good one. I really, really enjoy this. It's clean, it's warm, it's cozy, it's it's a good one. So yeah, I would recommend the Rice Flower and Shea one. I'm gonna have to speed it up because I've got so many of these. Okay, this one is an In Love Again type, which is a YSL, an old discontinued YSL fragrance. It's called In Love Again. This one's okay, it's okay. It's fine. It's, I don't, I'm not really in love with the fragrance. I don't think the fragrance is all that great. So it's not one that, it's not one that I would miss if I didn't have it. It smells fine. I never think about this, like hardly ever. It's okay. I think if you absolutely love this fragrance, you would love this one. This one doesn't have that rancid scent to it at all, or I don't want, I need to quit saying rancid because it's more like, again, something is just not jiving between the fragrance and the oils. Um, and I think that it's more that than it's got anything to do with rance, you know, with being rancid. But this doesn't have that at all. So if you like In Love Again from YSL and you want a dupe of it, I think that this would be a good one. Um, it's it's pretty. Okay, next we've got Confetti Cake. Um, oh wait, no, Confetti Cake is a good one. Yes, Confetti Cake is a good one. So this is one that, yes, this is the one, if you want like a cakey fragrance, like a cupcake, this is an alternative. I would recommend Confetti Cake over Cupcake any day. This one is really beautiful. It's a really beautiful, sweet, yummy, cakey scent and it's actually a really good one, and it doesn't have that weirdness in the base of it, so that is confetti cake, that's a good one. It was, that is, that's a really yummy gourmand one, and it's great to layer with. If you wanna make any of your perfumes more gourmand, that's an oil that you can put on first, and then you can layer anything over it, and it's gonna make it, ugh, yummy. It's gonna, you know, add a cake note, <laughs> really. Ooh, it's a good one. Okay, uh, next we have almond coconut. This is Laura Mercier type. This is one of my favorite, like you guys can see, I've not even had these for a year. I wore this this summer 
but look out what a huge dent I put in this in just one in just one season really because I really only wore this in the summertime and just in the, just this past summer I put a huge dent in this because this is a really beautiful like expensive smelling coconut it's a really classy smelling coconut it's not overly sweet it's not it's hardly sweet at all in fact it's very mildly sweet it's got this really beautiful almond note that isn't powdery it's oh, i love this it's such a good one this is my absolute favorite oil that i got in this bunch hands down it is my favorite it is one of my favorite coconut scents i just absolutely love this i in fact after i got this oil I went out and bought the Laura Mercier perfume. I had to have it. Hands down, best oil in this bunch. One of my favorites that I picked up. If you like coconut, oh my goodness, but you don't wanna smell like a coconut pastry or a coconut dessert, and you don't wanna smell like suntan lotion, this is perfection. It is absolute perfection. It's so good. That is Laura Mercier almond coconut type. Next, ooh, this one, we've got Cozy. This one is awesome. The funny thing about this though, it, there's nothing really cozy about this. This is a very fresh, clean laundry type scent and I absolutely love it. It's so, so bright in the top. I don't know if it's citrus or what. It's incredibly bright in the top and really, really clean and it smells like clean laundry. It's gorgeous. It's, um, Coco Pink makes a scent called Linen that I think it might be the same scent. I have a deodorant in Linen from Coco Pink and it smells identical to this. It's this really beautiful clean and it's called Linen because it's like a clean laundry scent. Gorgeous. So anyways, that one is, co is, that one is called Cozy. That's, it's a really, really good one. It doesn't have that weirdness in the base. It's aging beautifully it's in fact it's gotten stronger and it's a good good one so that is cozy okay next we've got pistachio and cardamom cake this one is amazing oh my gosh it's so good this is this one is nuclear it's so so strong and you get mostly the warm cardamom but it does smell like cake it smells like a warm cardamom cake there is pistachio there you definitely get pistachio but the pistachio it's i don't know it kind of gets a little bit drowned out by the cardamom i love this one this is one of my favorites i think it is stunning i you know i love a freaking cardamom i love cardamom in fragrance so this is a good one. It doesn't have the weirdness in the base. It's beautiful. It performs beautifully. It's one of the best, as far as performance goes, this is one of the best ones in the bunch. It's such a good, strong, yummy, gourmand, spicy, warm oil. It's amazing. So that one is called pistachio and cardamom cake. Such a good one. So I'm going to try to keep the ones that I tell you guys that I'm going to not recommend separate so I can go through at the end again and tell you these are the ones to not get. Okay, next we've got sweet musk. I need to leave this one out too. Ugh, this is a beautiful, clean, sweet musk. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. It doesn't have any weirdness in the base. It's a good, strong musk too. This isn't one that's like going to be so light that you can't smell it. I want to say I that this one didn't last a super long time, maybe like three or four hours. But I also feel like this; these are getting a lot stronger as they have like sat and macerated. This one is beautiful. It Sweet musk is really what it is. It's a beautiful, clean, sweet musk. It lasts and it doesn't have any of the weirdness in the base. This is one of the good ones. So that is sweet musk. Okay, next we've got Madagascar Vanilla. And this one, this one sadly is one of the worst as far as the weirdness in the base. Again, I think it's something with the actual oils and the fragrance not jiving at all. And this one is one of the worst. Like I can smell this beautiful sweet vanilla, but it's so it's being so overpowered by the weird funk in the base. I may end up just throwing these ones away because I'll never be able to wear them. I can't 
like I don't want to smell like that. I don't want to smell like rancid oil. So yeah, this one is just not good at all. That's Madagascar vanilla. Oh, next we've got heliotrope and this is a stunning, stunning single note heliotrope. I love this one because you get that gorgeous kind of almondy powderiness from it that you get from heliotrope. There is an amazing greenness in the top of this. I mean, this beautiful, fresh greenness, very, very fresh. It smells like you just clipped leaves, that fresh greenness that you get from, you know, freshly picking something. And then combined with the beautiful, powdery almond almondiness it's amazing it's one of my favorite oils from this from sweet essentials this one is outstanding one of the best one of the one of my favorite ones i picked up i am obsessed with this one so that one is called heliotrope okay next we've got this one called sweet beachy cream this one is just kind of weird um i don't recommend this one Number one, it's got just a touch of the funk in the base. Like just a touch, it's not horrible. But something about the notes in this one, like the fragrance, something about the fragrance of this one and then that slight funk in the base makes it smell like bad breath. It's not a good one. I don't recommend this one at all. This is a no-go. So that one is called Sweet Beachy Cream. Okay, next we have Cinnamon Churros and this one is amazing. It smells like cinnamon donuts. It's so, so good. If you love gourmand ones, it smells like a cinnamon cake, you know, like a cinnamon cake fragrance, like a cakey cinnamon fragrance. It's so good. No funk, no weirdness. It's a good one. So cinnamon churros is a good one. Uh, next we've got soothing vanilla milk. This one is amazing. It really does smell like a very slightly sweet vanilla milk, like mostly milk. It's a very milky lactonic fragrance. It's not overly creamy or weird smelling. It still has this really beautiful fresh, like freshness to it and it's light. I love this one, it's gorgeous. Soothing vanilla milk is the perfect name for it because that's exactly what it smells like. I love it, I love this one. No funk in the base of this one, nothing weird. It's just a good one. Um, next we have blue blue sugar for men type. So I've always heard really good things about blue sugar for men, but it's a fragrance that I have just never, I've never smelled the real thing, but this oil is so good. I mean, you can kind of smell the pink sugar, like you can smell the relation to pink sugar in it, but it's just different. And there is something that smells slightly masculine in it. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. It's an amazing oil. I've never smelled the original, but I have a feeling that it's, <laughs> I have a feeling that it's really, really similar to the original. The Laura Mercier one that I have, that I went out and bought the, the perfume, the oil smells identical to it. So I'm pretty sure that they make good clones. So I just have a feel, and the fact that I I can smell the relation to pink sugar in it. Makes me feel like this is probably a really good dupe. It smells really good quality. It doesn't have any of the weirdness in the base. It's a really good one. So that is blue sugar for men type. Next we've got warm vanilla sugar. This one is not a dupe of Bath & Body Works warm vanilla sugar. I don't think because it doesn't smell like warm vanilla sugar. It just smells like, yeah, it doesn't really smell like warm vanilla sugar. Well, maybe it's it a, a hint. Maybe like one of the really bad reformulations of warm vanilla sugar, but it's not bad. It's not a bad scent, but it, the, maybe like a butchered reformulation of warm vanilla sugar. Yeah. I would say it's probably a, a dupe of one of the butchered formulations, like maybe the you know 2015, 2016, somewhere in there formulations. It's pretty though, I love it. It's a beautiful, warm vanilla sugar scent and I love it. I love anything vanilla. This is amazing to layer with. It's just a really, really good one. I love this one. No weirdness in the base with this one. It's a good one. So that is warm vanilla sugar. Oh, I still got so many more to go. I'm trying to not talk too much about each one. Okay, next we've got fresh vanilla and I love this one. This one is like a, it smells like what the name of it is. You, I mean, you guys can see, do you see how full this one is? because I've hardly used I've hardly used any of it. I probably only tested this or maybe used it once. But you can see how full that is and you can see how just how much of the freaking Laura Mercier one I went through last summer because 
I am so obsessed with it. But anyways, fresh vanilla. It's sweet and light and simple. It's a sweet, light, simple vanilla. I absolutely love this one. There's no weirdness with this one. It's perfection. It's beautiful. If you're looking for just something really sweet, light, and simple, you can wear it on its own. You can layer with it. It's such a good one. So that one is fresh vanilla. I would say for the most part, I've had really good luck with the vanilla ones, except for the Madagascar vanilla. That's the only one that I didn't have good luck with. Um, okay, coconut cream pie. So good. Oh, so good. It smells like coconut cream pie. It smells like a creamy coconut filling in a warm, light pie crust. It's amazing. It's like a gourmand coconut. It's it's so good. It's such a good one. Um, I highly, highly recommend this one. So that one is coconut cream pie. Most of the coconut scents that they do are really good too. Um, this next one is called banana creme brulee. This one is okay. It's just, it's just not my favorite. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my favorite because there's something, I want to say that maybe there's like a rum note in this one. There's a note in it that I don't love and it's kind of drowning out the banana. The banana is definitely there, but I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's a personal preference thing with this one. If you think you would like banana creme brulee, I mean, just look up the note. I'll have the notes on the screen for you. But if you think you would like banana creme brulee, then um, this one might work for you. It's just, this one is just personal preference for me. It doesn't have any weirdness to it. I would recommend it if it's something that sounds good to you for sure. So that one is banana creme brulee. Okay, next we have seaside cotton. This one is intense. This one is incredibly intense. It's a very intense oceanic fragrance. Very fresh, very oceanic. I don't like oceanic fragrances, so I don't know why I even bought this. If you like that seaside fragrance from Bath and Body Works, um, I forget what it's called, Seaside Breeze maybe or something, it's the one that comes in the blue bottle. It smells almost identical to that, Seaside Breeze, Seaside something. It's a good one, it's a very, very good one. If you like fragrances like that, um, if you like those kind of oceanic fragrances, I think you would love this one. This one is nuclear. It is an absolute beast of an oil. It's very, very strong, it's very fragrant. Um, it doesn't have any weirdness to it. It's a really, really good one. This is another one that's just personal preference for me. I just, I don't love an oceanic fragrance, so I don't know why I even bought this one, but it is a good one. So that is Seaside Cotton. Okay, next we've got Jasmine Vanilla. So these, this one was sent over to me from a subscriber. This is, in fact, this is how I learned about Sweet Essentials. She sent me some of these oils and I fell in love with them and I got on and ordered. I, I've ordered a few times, but I got on and ordered. This one is absolutely stunning. This is such a gorgeous oil. This one is older too. I mean, she sent this to me probably three years ago now. Um, I remember she sent these right in, right when we, right after we bought our house, right after we had moved into our house. Maybe it was about two and a half years ago. So this is this is one of the oldest that I've got in my collection, and it still smells incredible. It's a beautiful, perfumey, like floral. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's not like a jasmine. Um, it's not like an indolic jasmine, or it doesn't even smell really like a white floral. It just smells like a beautiful, perfumey floral. I love it. It's beautiful on the skin. It's just a beautiful fragrance. So that one is Jasmine Vanilla. I absolutely recommend that one. Next we've got Vanilla Valentine. Yeah, it was about a year ago I ordered these because I remember it was right around February. Um, this one I'm going to need to... Ooh, yes, this is a good one. This smells like cake. It's like a, it's a sweet cakey scent. Okay, now. It does have a little tiny bit of the weirdness in the base, but for some reason it works in this one. Yeah, for some reason it works in this one. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like, I don't know. It doesn't have that like funk to it that a lot of the other ones do. So this one does have a little bit of that weirdness in the base, but it works. I actually really like this one. This one's really strong too. It's like a really strong cakey vanilla fragrance. I love this one. It's really good for layering too. 
Um, you can add like a cakiness to anything really. I love it. So that is Vanilla Valentine. Okay, oh, we still have quite a few to go. Okay, next we have got Apple Blossom and Vanilla. This is another one that I used a lot of. Um, you can see it's got a pretty, it's got a pretty good dent in it. Yeah, you can see it's got a pretty good little dent in it. I love this one because it's light and fresh and clean smelling. It's very slightly floral. It's a little bit sweet. You get this really beautiful, I don't know. It's like a really, if you've ever smelled a real apple blossom before, I mean, it's similar to that. It's this really beautiful kind of slightly sweet, really fresh light floral. I love, love this one. I definitely recommend this one. So that one is apple blossom and vanilla. Okay, next we have got cake batter. Yeah, sadly I was pretty sure that this one um, had the weirdness in the base and it does. Yeah, it's just got that overwhelmingly weird base. And this one has a lot of sweetness to it though, so I can smell the sweetness, but all I can smell is that kind of rancid oil base and it's just not good. So yeah, cake batter is a no. Um, and I don't know if maybe I just got a bad batch with some of them or if you ordered one now, if it would be okay, I just don't know. But just to be on the safe side, I want to tell you which ones are bad, which ones didn't, aren't, don't, you know, just aren't good. So they, at least you'll know. So if you want to order it anyways and just take your chances, you'll know that, you know, you might get a bad one. Okay. Let's see, next we have, this one is called Vani Canel, and it's a Comptoir Sud Pacifique type. I've never smelled the original of this one, so, oh my gosh, I love this one so much. This one is so stinking good. Yes, I forgot about this one. I forgot I even had this. It's such a good one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's got like, ooh, it's got like a warm cleanliness to it. I have no idea what that is, but it's kind of slightly warm and sweet. There's something weirdly beachy smelling about it, but not in a traditional beachy way at all. It's just something that smells like the beach or reminds me of the beach, and I have no idea why. But there's just this really beautiful, fresh, clean, warm sweetness about it. Ooh, it's a good one. I love this one. So that is Vani Canel Comptoir Sud Pacifique type. Um, no weirdness in the base of that one. Okay, next we have got sun tanning lotion. Um, this one I want to say was weird. No, this one's not weird. Um, I'm going to have so many oils on me. So there is, a, and this is what tells me it's got something to do with the fragrance oils and that the oil isn't actually rancid because the ones that, like this one, it does, I can kind of slightly smell the weirdness in the base, but it's not off-putting and it's not, um, I don't know, there's something about the, the fragrance, the notes in this one, that that kind of weirdness in the base works. It's not off-putting the way that it is in the others. So this one I actually, I don't mind it, and this one smells really good, I do like this one. So that one's called Sun Tanning Lotion. Okay, next, ooh, we've got this one here called Cactus and Dewberry. I ordered this hoping that it would smell something like Body Shop, like the old Body Shop Dewberry fragrance. And it does not, but this one is so gorgeous. Oh, please don't tell me it's got the weirdness. I think it's got the weirdness. No, okay, no, it doesn't have the weirdness. I love this one. This one is fresh and clean and kind of slightly perfumey, but not in a, but in this kind of weird, clean, fruity way. This one, I love this one. It's so, so good. It's really clean. It's mostly like a clean fragrance. It's gorgeous. It doesn't have any weirdness in the base at all. I was probably getting a whiff of something else on me. Yeah, like the sun tanning lotion. I think that's what I'm smelling. This one is gorgeous. If you're looking for a really beautiful, sweet, clean, just easy to reach for. This one's really strong too, like really strong. It's gorgeous. I love this one. So that one is called Cactus and Dewberry. Okay, next we've got Brown Sugar. Um, oh, this one's good. This kind of reminds me of oatmeal and brown sugar or like brown sugar oatmeal. That's exactly what it smells like to me, brown sugar oatmeal. 
It's a good one. No weirdness, warm, dense. This one's really dense smelling. This will add a heaviness to anything. It's got this, um, yeah, it's kind of like this cakey, warm, dense brown sugar oatmeal smell. Really beautiful, love it, it's a really good one. So that is brown sugar. Next we've got soft vanilla, this is an amazing one. Um, this is another one that uh, the subscriber that sent me the other ones, This she sent me this one too. This one's really beautiful, it really is just kind of a soft vanilla. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. There's something really beautiful and kind of skin-like about this one. I love it, I think it's gorgeous. Um, if you're a vanilla lover, I think you would like this one. So that is soft vanilla. Okay, next we have Island Vibes. This one is good. This one, there's no weirdness in the base of this. I think this one's got banana in it. So you get this kind of, it's kind of like a tropical banana scent. It's a good one. It's not my favorite, but it's a good one. It doesn't have any weirdness to it. So yeah, that is Island Vibes. Okay, last two. Next we've got Jessica Simpson Fancy Type. I picked this up hoping that I could use it to layer Fancy over because my version of Fancy is so bad. And this is great. It's an amazing dupe of Fancy. It smells just like it. Yes, it smells just like it. That's what. That's why I'm saying I'm pretty sure the ones that I haven't smelled the real thing, they're probably really good dupes because every single one that I have the real thing for, or, yeah, that I have the real thing for are amazing one-for-one -one dupes. And this is no exception. This is an amazing one-for-one -one dupe of um, Fancy. If you love Fancy, I think you would love this. So that is Jessica Simpson Fancy. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got Dreamy Vanilla Type. Dreamy Vanilla is a scent from Victoria's Secret, I believe. <sighs> Sadly, this one was good when I first got it. It was really good. Sadly, it's got the weirdness in the base. It's got the weird, the oil and the fragrance are not meshing. But it's not, it's like the other ones where it's like, yes, I can smell the weirdness in the base, but something about it works. Um, it seems like something about it works because of the vanilla in it because that seems like the common denominator here. The ones that I don't mind it are all vanilla fragrances. So yeah, it's okay. I really love this one. I would love it even more if it didn't have any of the weirdness in it, but I will still wear it and use it even with the weirdness because it's not super off-putting. And I can still smell the other notes in it. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. That one is Dreamy Vanilla Type. Okay, so we've only got four that have been super duds for me that I would absolutely avoid. Madagascar Vanilla, totally avoid, not a good one. Cupcake, definitely avoid, not a good one. Um, cake Batter, definitely not good, don't get that one. And Sweet Beachy Cream, these four have been the absolute worst ones for me. In fact, I think I'm just gonna trash them because I'll never be able to wear them. They're just not good at all. So anyways, guys, so anyways, guys, that is an update on my Sweet Essentials oils. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.